Hello, welcome back to another Dragon of Sorcerer's Gameplay, part 160. Uh, I'm Robert RGZ. Last time I, um... Continued the, uh, Sorcerer's Story by, uh, doing the dungeon, finding a few enemies, uh, and talking to, uh, a lot of NPCs. So, uh, let's continue. But we must be careful because we do not know what dangers of white. The blue clan will do its best to protect Rodimus. Your words give me confidence. Thank you. I heard that masters of the blue clan have the strength of 100 common fighters. That's pretty interesting. I'm flattered. Of course, it's true that they're all powerful warriors. However, the problem is we suffered great losses when our land was put to flame, so our f numbers are few. I saw that when you arrived earlier. Th there were indeed very few of you. Even if you join forces with the soldiers of Argo, you won't be able to withstand the Childs of the Western Territory if they evade again. Watch what you say. You're talking about the very people protecting you. Anyway, the point is we need more troops. We need foreign forces with more military power. That's right. Then, do you have anything in mind? Well, I admit that it's still just a possibility, but if I'm right, it should bring us very good results. With that in mind, you should come with me. The princess peers over at Mercenary Vandor and smiles mysteriously. Huh? Me? Why? I mean, I. what are you talking about? I know I'm a cool, powerful mercenary, but I'm not sure I... Exactly. You're a cool, strong mercenary. That's why I think you can help me. What do you think? While watching the princess, Dorfei develops a mysterious expression. Not that I can't take a guess from what you just... Uh, you said. But do you mind being a bit more specific? Well, it's sort of connected to a personal matter, so I can't really... <laughs> I'm already a bit embarrassed to say this much. Oh? My former nanny actually founded a militia. I mean, if you manage to persuade them, we might have a solution to our problems here. But it was when I was young. So I, I was a bit immature, which is why she might not agree. Anyway, talking about it is a bit, you know. <laughs> Your nanny? Uh, militia? Uh, um, well, sure, your nanny. <laughs> I was a bit of, at a loss when you mentioned her from the start. Anyway, what's this about when you were young? Why are you suddenly so nervous? <laughs> well, that's a bit... I was a pretty unruly child. My nanny lost patience with me and left. So, still, if you say the right things to her, she might... Okay, anyway, I'm glad that there's someone we can go talk to in times like these. I wish you two success. Vandor, please accompany the princess. Uh, hello? Anyway, you interested in my opinion? Why should I be the one to escort the princess? And what do I get in return? You don't have to escort me. I'll take care of myself, so don't worry. Let's just get going. Princess leaves for an, un uh, an unknown destination with a grumbling banner. <laughs> He's like a walking whirlwind, and even he seems to get swept up in it. Oh, does Ultima already know Vandor from somewhere? You're more trusted than I thought. You don't have to tell me in detail, but I assume you have an idea about what she is planning. I have a vague notion about what the princess is after. 
but if it is an Arab militia ready to Vandar's line of work, it seems worth looking into. With that in mind, there was something I wanted to ask of you too, Ultima. What could it be? I already brought everyone from the boot clan who was able and all of the artifacts of Red Lewis Palace are in Commander Huamaran's grass. Can I ask you to negotiate with Kuanos in return for telling him the location of Hiver's Nest? We would ask that he remain silent about Romulus. Ultima and Kuanos? Isn't he essentially saying to go fight him? Ultima is strong, but still. Kuanos only understands strength, so it might be a tough ask for the hologram of old Ant to convince it. Rodimus has a very bold leader. Alright, I'll repay your trust. Give it to me. Ultima slowly withdraws. Robert GZ, are you alright? Huh? Uh, why do you ask? You don't look so good. Is it because you have to go meet with Veronica? Hit the nail right on the head. Don't worry, Robert GZ. Veronica can be a bit cold, but he won't be able to do you any harm. Uh, is that so? Just trust me, and please deliver this letter to Verka for me when you arrive. Dorothy hands over an envelope. I might, I know you might be a little upset, but nothing bad will happen. Are you sure about that? Hello? Oh, you look a little down. I like sweet things when I'm so depressed. Uh, well, actually, I was just wondering what the mood is like over there. Yeah, I should get a sense from April of what things are like at the headquarters right now. Over there? Oh, at the headquarters? Why do you ask? Is there something in particular you're wondering about? I have a request for the president, but I think it would be best to go when he's in a good mood. Oh, I see. In that case, don't you worry. Now's a good time to go. Right now? Uh, you sure? Yeah, the move is always foul at the headquarters these days, so there's no point in waiting for an, it to improve. Might as well get it out of the way, right? You always get it out of there in one piece anyway, Robot Uh, wait, did you say the moon was foul? Really? Ugh, I knew the issue with Shao would be an obstacle. What do I do now? Yep, I heard there was a big kerfuffle. A guest arrived and then the president was screaming. They were yelling so loudly we could hear it out in, on the streets. Some about some being a crazy fool? Surprisingly, the grass walked out unharmed, and since then, the atmosphere at the headquarters has been awful. All the servants of the head office ordered digestive pills because they were so stressed. Digestive pills? Digestive pills? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I really think I should come back le Let's see. Oh, there they are. You. Yes, you too. Ack! 
You two have been summoned to the headquarters by the president. Now let's go. What? Can we just go like this? Or... Uh, never mind, Grill. We have to go at some point anyway. Digestive pills. Digestive pills. But pill bismol. <laughs> See you two later. <laughs> Wait, uh, the, the, I was going to do like a, 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 a dead man walking thing with the, 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 the. All right, anyways. Oh, good. All right. Oh, uh, if I have to do grill voice, then I'll do the second voice I had for Verica. Uh, hello? His eyes look so cold. Now I get why he's called the Blue Viper, even though I knew that already. Just forget it. I have nothing to discuss with you. You're nothing, and you're not worth talking to at the moment. Huh? Yep, okay. Uh, what? How do you be so rude to Robot GZ? It wasn't Robot GZ's fault. I won't just stand here and watch you torment Robot GZ. Real? Robot GZ is real. Why is blazing? So, since I'm doing grill, I have to do the second voice. Uh, <clears throat> there, there, that's better, grill. Is it? If you have something more to say, now is the time. Uh, Alright, then, I will. I have a lot to say. Like I ended up like that because of the goddess. It wasn't Robot GZ's fault. Real. If I had been stronger, if I could be, have been stronger, my sister and Laika, if I had just stayed by their side, they wouldn't have been adept like that. What would staying together have done? She became a child because the God of the Gods. The only thing that happens when childs come together is slaughter. Oh. Do you mean you would have gobbled her up? No, I could have protected her from the goddess, from this world, if I was strong enough. What well, certain is you are a good talker, boy. If this is the hope of the Gantai goddess sanction, a boy who whines about how he couldn't protect anything, how he couldn't save anyone, why are you being like this? Grill did nothing wrong. What did he do? What did he? What did he? What did he do wrong? If you want to get into it, everything he said was fundamentally wrong. A trial preventing the will of the goddess? Can a fruit reject roots? Uh, are you going to keep cutting me off? Oh, if you do, I'll be angry. No. No, I have to stop this. This is bad. He's about to explode. Grill, calm down. Don't allow yourself to become uh, overcome with anger. Grill? That's it. The seed of resentment germinates the moment of the goddess wants it. That's the source of your hatred and anger. You think someone like you can stop it? I will kill you. No, this is not the... You're just the goddess's puppet, her slave. Even now, all I can think about is killing me, right? Stop it. Grill. Grill, wake up. <sighs> uh, no, that's not... That's not what I'm saying. If I had more time... Another chance. Verica's eyes soften as he sees Grill calm down. In fact, he looks intrigued. Oh, good. You have riled your rage. Maybe if my sister had become like me, yes, we would have at least been able to protect Laika. Grill. You. Seriously. Dodge it, bullet. I almost killed you. 
You think? I'm not sure I have gone so quietly. Anyway, it is now time to put our full support behind Rodimans. Huh? What? What? Verka sighs. <sighs> Norfrey knows how, how things are done in the business world. So he wouldn't have just sent you to. Where's the letter? Here, he told us to deliver this letter. Burger squints in your direction. I figured as much. Give it here. Burger receives the letter, opens the envelope, and scans through the contents in a flash. Well, it's exactly what I expected. I will fully accept the proposal. Rodimus is in a crisis, so we will support you with the emergency funds and provide all kinds of necessary supplies, including foodstuffs and equipment. What well, led him to agree easily, especially with what happened to Shaka? You, s <coughs> sorry. You, you seem surprised that we've wrapped up negotiations so easily. Are you nervous there might be some kind of hidden agenda? Seriously, I'm amazed at how little business sense you have. And come to think of it, you must not have a clue why Norfrey would send you in grill here. Right. It's true that I'm still furious, even at this very moment. How could I not be angry that Shalka ended up that way? But I'm not in the position to simply let anger dictate my actions. Think about it. What hope do I have left to cling to? It's all in the hands of the mutant child. And now that Argyll has fallen, how could I turn a blind eye to Romance? The only place left with the technical ability to research the mutant child. I suppose that's why Norfe sent you two to me. The, to give me a preview of that product. I am purchasing, purchasing with my investment. If a child can turn out like you, I should trust that it can happen again. It's so obvious that it's annoying. I see. So, oh my, you're softening your expression, telling me you still let you still let your guard down too easily. If you want to remain in my good books after receiving this support. You will have to save Shaka. Understood? Ugh. My throat's getting dry. Yes, we will save Laika. We have to. Grill. Now that we found the cup of healing lid, we just ha need to figure out how it's used. Once we do that, we can bring back my sister and Laika. I wish we could do that, but. Is it really possible? That's right. And when we do, I'll ex be expecting an apology from you. You should apologize for how rudely you spoke to me and Robot TZ. What? If you can do that, I'll throw rose petals at your feet. I, Burka, will humbly apologize for my behavior. I'll remember that promise. I look forward to it. A legendian adventurer and a mutant child. You are a mysterious pair, you two. I suspected that something was different, but you really have changed. The hope of the anti-goddess faction. Urka's eyes shine as he looks at Grill. Someone I thought should be eliminated has now become key. What a surprising turn of events. What, what the heck does that mean? Robot GZ, are we done here? I represent Merka. No, I need you to run an errand for me first. I trust you will agree since it is for Romulus. An errand? Uh, it's not going to put us in a difficult position, is it? Don't look like you, you'll freeze if it does. It's not as if you have a choice. 
But still, I hate not being able to review. Same. <laughs> anyway, don't worry, it's no big deal. Now bring this document to Honest Merchant Perro for me. We just drew it up and deliver this sealed letter to Merchant Gilbert and Marcus for. We just have to deliver them? If you gave me the time, I could come up with the 20 more things for you to do. So you better go before I do. There's so much work to be done here. Stay out of trouble. <sighs> so many voices. Welcome to Robot DC. We've been seeing each other a lot lately. I've already sent the remaining supplies to Robinus. Is there something else you need? No, I'm he I'm just here to deliver a message from America. A message from America? I see. Perro examines the document. No way. What? What is it? Is, is it something bad? This is an unexpected amount a and quantity of goods. And this isn't even the full amount, just a prepayment? What is happening? Um, Mirka has pledged full support for Rosamond, so... I'm not sure what caused such a change of heart for Mirka, but there won't be any issue with the funding. I just need to make sure I use it wisely, is all. Thank you for the good news. I wish you well on your journey. Welcome! Uh, Gilbert flashes a business man's smile at first, looking you up and down, then his face hardens. Wait, aren't you the adventurer who was always talking about flawless jewels? What brings you here this time? Is he really the target of the message? Here, Verka told me to deliver this to you. Verka? The president of Merka? What are you talking about? Why would the president use an adventurer to run errands? What's it to you? Why do you care what Verka is asking us to do his bidding? Wait, those gold eyes. Oh my, I didn't realize I was speaking with the child. My apologies. The president must have a good reason had must have had good reason to ask you to do so. There's no need to apologize to me, but you do owe Robot T Z apology. My, my apologies, adventurer. I had no idea you were traveling with a child. You must be closely associated with the president. Forget it. Just take this. Yes, understood. Quickly receives the envelope and reads the letter inside. Then his face darkens. Requisition, uh, requisitioning ice flowers. Procure three in advance? How am I supposed to get that many of something so rare? Ice flowers? He said something about ice flowers in the message? He told me to get three flowers. Does he know, he know how rare they are? He said he'd pay a good price for them, but it's not like he's the kind of guy to give above market value. Ice flowers, huh? Can we take one? No way. I was promised I would get paid. You have to pay for it, even if you are a child. Well, there must be a reason why Verka is doing all this. It, he, he's kind of witching. He's, I think he's trying to bow, maybe? I don't know. We can always come back later, so let's go, Grill. Okay, let's go. Oh my, thank you. 
Stay where? Then, then see you later. Welcome back. A letter from Verka bait you here. Oh, is that so? Indeed, our main went well. Weirdly enough. Actually, Ultima has finally arrived as well. I was wondering how the discussion went with Kuanos. You didn't even think about concealing his trail, so it's easy to find. He drew his plane as soon as we met, and we did battle. It was pretty awesome. Man, I wish I could have saw that. I heard Kalanos was a fearsome fighter. It sounds like his reputation was well earned. He did not disappoint. His... Hold on. Sorgery? Is that... Hold on. I have to look that up. Sorgery. Is that even a word? Hold on. One second. Sorry. Sword. Uh, meaning. Uh. Sw swarthy? Um. Wait. Wait. Oh. Uh, there's a uh, urban meaning of it. Wait, name meaning and sorty family? No, okay. Uh, there's, okay, the, no, there's not, there's not. Wait, I mean, yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Maybe this? Uh, sounds sorty. Uh, I don't know. Uh... I think they mean. I think he means swordsmanship it was indeed magnificent. It was only after our blades clashed several times that he asked me to state my name and purpose. So, what did you tell him? I told him my true intentions that I would kill all the goddess's children and release her grip on this land. What? So. How did Kuano direct? He said I was an interesting fellow. Are they out of their minds? And then we continued our duel. He said I was someone worth fighting, and for me he proved the same. I see. Then did you tell him the location Wait. I'm pretty sure it's. Did you ask him the location of Hyper's S? Because Ultima wouldn't know that. I. I asked you to make him an offer, remember? Of course. Worry not. Actually, he got angry as soon as I brought up a deal. 
angry. He said he was not Fallbrand's exterminator and had no interest in some bug's den. So I just told him the location of Hyver's S. Oh, I guess he does know it. Huh. Oh. Bug's den? It's ch uh, Charles, that really are something. Orpheus stares at Ultima as, he, as, as if he has much to say, then sighs. <sighs> I'm glad it went well. You didn't say anything else? I didn't. I left as soon as I, as I revealed the location of the nest. But as I was leaving, he said, After Hyper, you're next. I see. That's a relief. A relief? What do you mean? He said he would kill Ultima after Hyper. That's why I'm relieved. I was wondering whether Kuanos would come to Rodmas immediately after f fighting Hyver. Right, and that would be our opportunity to eliminate him. You think? It's that simple, huh? Yeah. Why? Uh, uh, why? I'm surprised that you're worried about Ultima after hearing that. Then, are you saying you're not worried? Ultima already fought him to a standstill, and he's not going to be fighting alone if Kuanos comes around us. There's me, and the uh, MHN mercenaries were here as well. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, oh, yes, you're back, Vandar. Did you bring the ice bar? And what of the, of the princess? I brought this. I brought this ice fire, and MHN has agreed to join forces with us. MHN, what's that? Come to think of it, I think that was written on the pamphlet I received from Vandor before. The Missland Human Network. That's MHN for sort, for short. They manage mission contracts for mercenaries and take a cut of the pay. You could also describe them as a pyramid organization. Psst, a pyramid organization? They're a lifeline for the free mercenaries of Mistland. Anyway, we were promised to their full cooperation. In return, Ramas must act as a bastion of freedom for mercenaries. That's a very generous deal. Did the mercenaries really agree to those terms? Well, the princess can give you the details when she comes back, I guess. They kept her around to discuss matters after having met for the first time in so long. Good. Then our preparations are complete. Ah, one moment. It seems Geraint has returned. What about you see? If you have anything to see before leaving for the nest, you better do it now. Alright. Uh, that is going to be if now, so to next time to... Darkness Sources Gameplay Parts 161. This is Robot GZ signing off. Bye.